as we discussed, this Diddy case is getting a lot crazier. When we thought it wasn't possible for this to get any weirder after all the stories we've been hearing, thousand bottles of baby oil and lube. Like after that, I'm like, all right, word. So this was just going to trial. Like, let's just see how he's gonna be able to defend himself. No, 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 no. They're still not even done coming out yet. He is speaking about two alleged victims of Diddy, a nine-year-old boy and a 15-year-old girl. That is disgusting. That is disgusting, man. The fact that you're bringing minors into this, because remember his whole thing was, we've seen a couple of videos of his lawyers. How is anything that he did illegal? He's just a freaky man. Yeah, he might be freakier than most of us, but nothing he's doing is illegal. There's no minors involved and no one said they didn't give consent. Oh, a nine-year-old can't give consent. A 15-year-old cannot give consent in any of the 50 states. Let's think again. Let's get that defense team back together and think of a new plan. Because, buddy, that's not going to work, that consent story. Also, Costco memberships to buy a 1,000 bottles of lube. You're going to jail if you niggas say that to a jury. Trust me. Because if I was a jury, I'm like, well, this nigga is guilty. Let me just say. Yo, we all thinking the same? Like, we all, we all thinking the same, right? On this one? All right, cool. Let's wrap this up quick. Like, I'm thinking it's one of those. You go up there and start talking about Costco's and BJ's. You are going to jail. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. At 10,000 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. If you haven't seen any of the unboxings we've done previously in this channel, go check those out. At 10,000, we will be doing a giveaway and giving one of those unboxings away. If you want to be part of that, subscribe to the channel. Follow my social media, which is always on top. And if you have any questions, man, comment down below and share your thoughts. This individual who was nine years old at the uh, this individual who was nine years old at the time uh, was uh, taken to a audition in New York City with Bad Boy Records. Uh, other boys were there to audition as well. All of them were trying to land a record deal. All of them were minors. This individual was sexually abused, allegedly by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio uh, in the promise uh, to both his parents and uh, to him himself of getting a record deal. And a lot of you, man, growing up and being a kid in the East Coast, and hearing Bad Boy Records and thinking about all the classics and smackers through 112, Jodeci, Biggie Smalls, Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige, and the list continues. The list continues. G. Depp, French Montana, like the list continues. Day 26, making the band Chopper City, nigga, throw him in there. May, like, Aubrey O'Day, I'm telling you. Aubrey O'Day today looks like the villain from Soul, but we still had love for her back in the day. We still had love for her back in the day. Aubrey O'Day looked like she got the mask and just couldn't pull it off. Still got love for what they did previously, man. Those were great shows. Their music, I couldn't say the same, but definitely, definitely making the band and all that was super entertaining. So for me to see this, again, I held Bad Boy up high. You get me? I held Bad Boy up high. I love ASAP Ferg knowing his father did the logo and Ferg's supposed to be the baby on Bad Boy. Stuff like that. Was always fired to me, man. Was always fired to me. I was always Harlem shaking as a kid. Special delivery. I want that. Special delivery. I need that. So seeing kids, man. So seeing a boy at nine years old go over there for an audition thinking that his life going to get changed and his life got changed for the worse. It just breaks my heart, bro. It just breaks my heart. Because when I was nine years old, I looked up to Diddy for sure. I looked up to what he did. I looked up to being a mogul and being able to gather all these talented people and push that to the world and becoming a millionaire. Then to go on to becoming a billionaire entrepreneur. To end it all like this breaks my heart, man. And just hearing this, it feels sick hearing this. Uh, another instance, another minor told allegedly by Sean Combs that he would make him a star, but he needed to visit with him in private about it away from his parents. Once uh, they were in a private area, allegedly Mr. Combs made uh, the victim perform oral sex upon him. Another incident, uh, an individual 15 years old at the time flown uh, to New York City to attend a party, was drugged and then taken into a private room, uh, allegedly in the presence of Mr. Combs, where this female individual minor and then other individuals took to the biggest secret in the entertainment. Not only did we hear grapes involved into that, but the fact that other people were around seeing what he did. And instead of stopping this monster, they just jumped in and joined. And that number you see in the back, that 800 200 74, 74. If I'm not incorrect, I believe that's the hotline created right now. You can call in. I feel like calling in during... Yo, I'm about to call the hotline and see what I call hanging, which I don't even want to waste their time, but I just want to know. Is it like, hey, it's the Diddy hotline. Do you have any stories about the diddler? Let's see. I don't want to waste their time, so I just hung up right there. But yo, it literally says when you call. Yes, you just called into the Diddy hotline. Like, nah, that's crazy. If you would have told me this in 2003 when I was sitting in front of the TV waiting for 106 in Park to play special delivery or some shit, or I need a girl part one or part two, whichever one happened to come on, that there'll be a Diddy hotline for you to call in with your Diddy horror stories in 2024, I wouldn't believe it. Nah, I would've never believed it. I'm like, yo, get out of here with your Twilight Zone episode. Like, nah, that's crazy. 
brother, my heart is still like, is just said right now, thank you for calling into the Diddy hotline. Like, yo, what? This ain't marketing, baby. This ain't in an album rollout. Like, this ain't, oh, I'm lightheaded. Let's get back into this. This is crazy. But now you guys know if we really have any Diddy issues. If Diddy ever put chapstick on too close to your face. If you ever bought a meet and greet and that nigga didn't come out in time. Like, I'm sure they're going to be getting a whole bunch of crazy ass calls. I don't want to waste their time. So we would never prank call a line like that or waste their time. We just heard the auto recording and hung up. But I'm sure there's people taking advantage of that shit. Just calling like, yeah, nah. I saw Diddy in my nightmares. Like, there's going to be a whole... This nigga Diddy was rubbing oil on his chest while putting Carmax on his lips with his free hand. Screaming, take that, take that. Like, I'm telling you, the calls that niggas are going to get, and you're going to... And hanging up like i'm telling you bro when i was a kid i'm not gonna lie to you i'm just talking about what i would have done at 11 12. i was a prank call maniac you know this crypto you know the crypto maniacs and all that nigga i wasn't into stealing never stole nothing in my life but prank calling oh man oh i was the king of that shit before 13. The industry really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world the wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming people claiming to have been victimized by sean Cone. how many people call that hotline already five individuals contact us with people claiming people claiming to have been victim the biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world the wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming people claiming to have been victimized by sean combs after vetting we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against sean diddy combs as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases and you should know to the extent the clients feel comfortable we also intend to make these individuals available to the authorities, specifically to the FBI. And you should also know a few of them have already been spoken to by the FBI. Now, before we discuss the nature of the claims and claimants themselves, let me comment on the large volume of calls we have received since our first announcement. Even before the indictment of Sean Combs, we had received a small volume of calls and had screened a handful of cases. After the indictment of Sean Combs and the announcement that we were pursuing these claims, the floodgates People who wouldn't otherwise, for a variety of reasons, are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and pursue justice. All right, so I just got a text message back. Remember, we didn't even talk to no one. We just called, heard the little audio thing, and hung up. I got a text message because we hung up. I Hi there. I am reaching out to you in regards to the Sean P. Diddy Combs abuse lawsuit you inquired about. We are just needing to go over a few questions to get you qualified for this claim. We would like to help you on your journey towards healing as well by filing a lawsuit on your behalf. Do you have a few minutes to answer some questions or over text? If not, please give us a call. And they gave a phone number here to call, which is again that 1-800-200-7474. If you want to be part of this claim, like I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of people just trying to throw. I'm not saying, I'm not saying not everyone's lying for sure. And like he said, this isn't even a, a secret in Hollywood. They've been saying Diddy. I've been hearing bro Diddy's AO since I was a kid. Cause I used to always like Diddy's music and all that. I bought the album with We Ain't Going Nowhere. Like, I was a kid. I remember I actually bought that hard copy album to that, to that tape. But I remember people roasting like, yeah, nah, Diddy's a yo, bro. I don't know how you like that, dude. Same thing with Jamie Foxx. Jamie, I don't know, random, random. But these are just names that I always heard my whole life. I heard Diddy, Jamie Foxx. Those are the two that come to mind right now. Those are all alleged. I never paid no mind to it. I'm like, bro, I don't care what they do in their beds. It don't got nothing to do with me and their craft. But now when we see Diddy was doing stuff like this, though, it's like, all right, my nigga. Somebody, somebody thought they get Arkham Asylum. Like, nah, this is it's getting a little dark. It's getting a little crazy. But no, most of these people are scared. They fear backlash in their communities. They fear backlash in their own families. They are afraid of retaliation retaliation from the perpetrators and their associates. They are rightly afraid for their own personal safety. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Many dirty secrets will be revealed. We know what we are potentially up against. And as is always the case in situations like this, when a celebrity is involved, people can be downright mean and nasty. You would be shocked at the length fans will go, no matter the evidence, to the contrary, to defend celebrities they love. I mean, there's a reason for this word fans. They're fanatics. I've personally already been threatened multiple times on social media. And when I agreed to pursue this, I expected as much. This isn't my first rodeo. Nah, Tony, was the homie that threatened you sounded like this dude right here? Yo, dog, I'm sorry. That's right, you got a signature. Yo, dog, if I guarantee you, if I you up right now with this ditty on, now you tell me how much it's gonna be worth then. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be worth millions. <laughs> Victims who step forward to have their voices heard should not be subjected to that kind of conduct. They should not be targeted. I want to say this and I want to be clear about it. Although we are vetting each call as stringently as we can, I always start with a mindset that I believe victims. I believe victims because I understand this courage it takes to step forward. So if you're watching this, please hear me. If you're out there and you have been victimized, you are not alone. 
Oh, that water was tasting like the fire. I know you about what was going on. But the one thing that I do know about victims is that the ones that are not lying, scared that they're going to get mixed in with all the people that are lying. So everybody's like, you weren't at no meet and greet and got thrown in a dark room, tied up with duct tape and banana. Like, that didn't happen to you. Diddy wasn't on that. You ain't even Diddy's type. Like, that's the shit that people are scared of. And that's why I've been telling you, when you be prank calling these lines and doing stuff like that, you're really just making it harder for the real victim. Keep that in mind. If you was a victim of anything, you definitely wouldn't want to be played with in that situation. So I always tell people, you know, keep that in mind, bro. Keep that in mind for real. I know, I know, it's, I know, it's, I know it's easier as an adult to think like that it's a little bit harder for the youth i get it can't really judge them too much because i would have done some nutty shit too when i was a kid but what do you guys think is the next steps remember diddy's whole thing with his team was yo nobody said they didn't give consent there's no minors involved i don't know what y'all talking about uh, think again think again if that's gonna be your angle of defense you better think again because tony busby's coming like the avengers my guy he said he got 280 people called we heard there's already 120 victims that he has that he's defending these are just two stories we heard about a 15 year old and a nine year old and they really didn't even go much into detail but they told us enough being called one of them being called in for an audition and then allegedly being taken to a secret room to talk to them away from their parents that's already weird to me as a parent why do you got to take my kid away to talk to them by themselves like a business that doesn't make no damn sense because <laughs> If they're going to do business, I got to sign those contracts. I got to decide. So it's just weird to me. And then the other one to be taken to a party and then hit with like a drug and then people passing her around. It's just disgusting to even think about. You get me? And a lot of those people in those rooms that we're going to hear those names, they're saying in about 30 days is what Tony's saying. He said some of the people we will know. The thing that hurts is that a lot of us look up to celebrities. You get me? And the older I got, the more I try to understand that these are just people that are great at a craft that we love. You get me? Like, yo, I love that they're great at that craft. Their music, I might have tied to it at a certain time in my life. It, whatever it is, a designer, an artist, different things. I personally love music. So people like X, I got stories of like at that time, they listen to those songs. Same thing with Kanye, same thing with Drake for sure, more than anything, bro. When I was growing up, going through high school and stuff like that, I feel like a lot of Drake had a song for everything that I was going through in high school, like females and different things like that. Never Marvin's room. Never trust me. I ain't no simp ass nigga. I know one of y'all like, damn, well, hold on. You were calling somebody out in the rain crying? F that dude that you're laying with. You should be here driving around with me. Uh -huh. I'm just saying you can smoke better. Like, nah, 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 nah. I wasn't on that time. I wasn't on that time. But I'm just saying. Music I always tied to, but we got to remember that these are just regular people like you and me that are just great at what they do. Just happen to pick a craft and happen to be great at it. And we like them for their music. We like them for whatever their talent is. Remember how to separate the artist and the artistry, as some like to say. Like, I love telling you guys. That Diddy discography, see the, the Kells one? That one killed me because I loved R. Kelly as a kid too. Bro, we different age groups. Most of the people on YouTube today, y'all like, what? You didn't know he was a weirdo? And I heard Fiesta with Jay-Z and, and R. Kelly out on the island. Like, oh my God, that shit looks lit. At the age of like four or five. Later to find out, allegedly, allegedly, was shot on the Epstein Island. Like, oh my God. Yo, just take my childhood, ball it up into a ball, and shoot it like a free throw into a trash bin. Because I'm telling you, 2024 is out with vengeance. One thing that did help me live and help me live for another day is how social media is saying, we've been seeing all these crazy diddy lists. We've been seeing all these crazy diddy lists. But my boy Ye hasn't been in one. That's what I'm saying. My boy Ye hasn't been in one. If you think you're going to throw it at discography, nigga, Ye can slap my mother. And I'm still playing graduation. You got to separate the artist and the artistry. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. If you want to be part of that giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, all you got to do is sub up to the channel. Follow my Instagram up above. And let and let me know your thoughts about all this going on. I think this shit going to get really bad for Diddy, bro. I think this is going to... If Diddy... If they, order, if they offer that nigga Diddy a plea deal of 500 years, I might... Yo, take it. Take it, brother. Brother, take it. Because they going to give you a next... Four years of lineage of children's of children's of children's prison time for all the shit you did. Take the 500 years. Like, whoo, this is looking scary, man. Again, we have no more information than you guys. These are just stuff we've seen online. But it's definitely not looking good for that playboy. Sub up, sub up, sub up. Let me know your thoughts down below. 